first off, um, it's actually quite a small unit. It's not that big. I thought it was going to be bigger, but obviously you can see in the packaging when I ordered it. So that's pretty neat. The only thing that you do need, um, other than your hose pipes, is you will need a couple of uh, AA batteries. So I have some here. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to turn each sprinkler zone on just to see how many sprinklers there are in each one. I only have, I have four zones. Two zones have two sprinklers each and the other two have one each. And just so I know which one comes in where. So the first thing you're going to want to do is um, get batteries installed in here. In the right way. There's a little tab in there so you know which way to put this in. Like so. And then be greeted with this. Well, you're not greeted with anything. This is just the main face. Um, so you're going to want to set the time to make sure that you've got the correct time um, and you don't start sprinkling at the wrong time of day. So the first thing to establish is whether you want it in 24 hour time, military time or um, 12 hour AM PM time. I'm just going to leave it in 12, AM, 12 hour time AM PM time. That's fine by me. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you get the right date. So on the day. So we're actually on Saturday. So you just want to hit this plus button up here. Like so, and press OK. Now it comes to the time. Now you want to set a time. Now we're 3.28 p.m. So you unfortunately have to tap this button until you get to... Time, you press OK. Once you have the time and um, day of the week established, you want to move on to what your watering schedule will be. So you press this little button here. Now you get to the water day part. So to pick what days you want to water, um, you just need to use the plus and minus buttons to cycle through the days like this. And whenever the one that's flashing is the one the day you're landed on, so you can um, select that by pressing OK. So today's Saturday, I'm wanting to water in the morning. So what I'll do is I'll hit Sunday because I want to do it tomorrow morning. Press OK. And I'm going to do every second day, like so, Thursday, and then I will do Saturday too. Once you've picked this, you just want to press the same button that brought you to here. Now you've got the zone one. Now this is where it's important that you have a list of what your sprinklers do, because this is, I'm currently working on zone one here. Now, when do I want zone one to start? Um, and then I'm going to go into how long it's going to be on for and how many times throughout the day. So I want to know which one I'm going to be on um, to make sure that um, for my two sprinklers, I want to leave them on a little bit longer than the one sprinkler. So for zone one, it's actually going to have zone four, which is at the top of the yard. It's got two sprinklers on it. So I'm going to set this to come on first. And um, to do that, you just need to to toggle between these here. And I'm going to want it to come on probably around 5.30, 5.45 for this first one here. There we go. We'll call it 5.45. And because it's not too warm yet, I'm only going to have one um, water in a day or one of my chosen days. So all you need to do then is press this button here and how long I want this to be on for. And I'm going to say 15 minutes. Then you press this button again. So once you have the first zone set, it's very straightforward. You just need to get back to the water day um, homepage, which is just press this triangle button a couple of times. And you get to there, you press zone like that. Then you just go through the same process again and pick what days you want the sprinkler to be on for that zone. So I will work through this and get the rest of the zones done. And now I have everything set and it's all it's on the auto mode here. So before installing, you're going to want to make sure your water is turned off. 